Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a skincare routine for you guys and I am dry now because I haven't put nothing on my face because I was just waiting for this tutorial. So there's three key steps that you guys should implement in your uh, lifestyle so that you guys ensure that you have that clear skin, yeah? Number one, stay hydrated, yeah? Make sure you drink that water, all right? two liters a day as well yeah number two mind your business mind your business mind your business mind your business, mind your business. Mind your business. <laughs> literally mind your business you'll, you'll be at peace and your skin will be clear you won't be stressed trust me yeah number three Make sure you eat your fruit and veg. Just trial and taste. So this is some mango that I got here. Mm. So make sure you eat your five, to, five a day. So starting off with wetting my face. Um, I just got a wet flannel. Um, to wet my face and obviously I do mask my face as well so I, I'm currently using the Mario Badescu whitening mask it, it's for um, pig, um, high pigmentation and if you've got discoloration for like even complexion and it does have like some vitamin E some olive leaf extract it's got some grape seed mulberry licorice roots it's got all that good stuff for pigmentation so if you do have like acne scarring or like dark marks or like your skin tone is just not even this is really good um it does say to use it two to three times a day so um yeah so once you wash it off make sure you put a thin layer of the mask wash it off after 10 minutes and then when you wash it off go straight into your toner and that's it but today i'm just going to go show you guys how i do my normal routine so once you've wet your face you obviously don't want to use your facial wash so the facial wash that i'm actually using at the moment i've been using it for a while now is the vitamin c um facial wash from body shop so i don't know if you guys can see this so this is how it looks and what it does it keeps like your skin like not to be so dull t tired and grumpy well that's what it says in the package anyways but i just feel like it gives me a nice glow so i do use this like every day kind of thing this is my daily facial wash um so i'm just gonna apply some i can tell you guys the ingredients that it has in it so it has vitamin c rich camu camu from the amazon amazonian rainforest from peru so obviously if you guys are into like the ingredients and what's in it it is really good i've been using it for years and i just feel like every time i do swap around my facial wash i always revert back to this so this is my holy grail so you can see i don't know if you guys can see but it does have some bits in the facial wash. Um, so you just wanna go ahead and apply that on your face. And what I like to do with everything that I use, well, I did see online that this esthetician said, any product that you use, make sure that you allow like 60 seconds So that's what I like to kind of do. Like literally not like one, two, three, but just know like it's a good amount. A few moments later. So once you applied your facial wash, you want to now go ahead and wash it. So I'm going to be right back and wash my so face. I've washed my face and now it's cleansed and I've dried it as well. Um, I had to put my hair back because it was just getting in the way. Like I cannot. I cannot, I cannot. So now that obviously you've used your facial wash, um, again, with this facial wash that I did use, it is for every skin type. So 
everyone can pretty much use it because it does rejuvenate the skin and obviously you do need some vitamin C, do you know what I mean? So now that obviously you've done that, I'm now gonna go ahead and use a toner. So the toner I'm currently using is the Mario Badescu Rose Water Witch Hazel um, Toner and it's really good on the skin. It don't feel so harsh. The skin is cleansed. Um, it, 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 it's moisture barrier is protective, revealing a fresh, more youthful looking complexion and, and it restores clarity and radiance to the skin after every cleanse this is what i'm just reading on the back of the toner and obviously it does say with this toner that you should use twice a day so you just want to go ahead and do that and with a toner you'll be really surprised how the amount of residue and like stuff that's on your skin like pretty much your skin is not completely like clean after a wash like you'll be really surprised so once i use my toner i like to go ahead and use the ordinary hyaluronic acid this is how it looks can see and the thing is with basically um your cream it only targets like the external um surface of your skin but with like any like serums or like acids like this it actually um targets the inner layer of your skin if that makes sense so that's why i like to use this with this you can actually use it um in the morning and in the night um so it's fine so i like to just use that so you just want to go ahead and put a little few drops So once you've actually applied the hyaluronic acid, I then want to go ahead and use a serum. So the one I am using is um, the organic cold pressed rose hip hip seed oil, and it's for all skin types. So I'm just going to show you how guys how it looks. So this is just the bottle, and this is the oil. So this is how it looks. And what it does, it does help with a few things. So I kind of use it for um, pigmentation again. Um, it does brighten the skin. It helps with like moisturizing your skin. It's anti-aging. Um, it also fights with like people with like acne as well. And it helps with like stretch marks. So if you have any stretch marks, you can also use this on your stretch marks. So it is a really, really good oil. Again, with this oil now, um, you want to only use it in the night time. Um, and you only want to apply it once a day. Whereas with the Hyaluronic, you can use it twice a day. So that's just the difference between the two. So you want to... Okay, listen. Let me tell you, with this oil, a little goes a long way because it's so oily so you don't want to apply too much like so you just want to put a few drops on your face you can just target the areas where you do um have pigmentation but i like to just do my whole face um so i'm just gonna apply a little bit So now that you've actually applied your rose seed oil, you wanna go ahead and actually moisturize. So now I'm moisturizing with the Vitamin C um, Glow Protect Lotion. This cream is my holy grail. Like it has not disappointed me. It always keeps my skin glowing. It's just so nice on the skin. So you just want, again with this, a little goes a long way. So you just wanna apply that on your skin. So guys, so what I like to do for my neck is obviously I do suffer from a bit of like eczema. Look at that eczema. 
I got what? The eczema. Not like extreme eczema, but um, I do suffer from eczema, like especially on my neck and behind my ear. So it does come here and there. And like obviously I do like suffer from like heat rashes as well. Like my skin is just really, really sensitive. Um, so what I like to use, I'm just gonna show you guys what I like to use for my neck. It is this cream called the Triple Action Cream. Um, and it's an anti-flammable, anti, -flammable, anti um, bacterial and anti-fungal um, um, cream and literally if you do suffer from like eczema or if you have um, acne ac acne prone skin or like if you do get like rashes here and there like especially for myself um, I would suggest for you to actually use this cream it's really really good the only thing is it is strong not in a sense of that it will burn your skin but it is very effective so if you are going to use it on your face because with me i don't really use it on my face um but you if you are going to use it on your face i would suggest for you to mix it in with like your normal moisturizer um but if not and if you like get on like areas on your body then obviously you can just use this like um cream directly so what i like to do when i am doing my skincare routine especially when i have like eczema like the other day i did get like a rash um so what i like to do is just apply the cream on my neck and a little again a little goes a long way if you are from like london you can get this cream from dalston and um, that's where i get the cream from so that's what i so I don't know if you guys can see, but my neck is quite dark um, in that area. Obviously it is getting better, but I like to just kind of make sure that I am looking after it and like preventing it from getting worse. So, um, and obviously as well, I don't know if you guys can see, especially on my chest, I like, I kind of tend to get like rashes. So again, I also bring that cream onto my chest as well. This is not like an everyday thing, but it's just obviously when I do suffer from like rashes and stuff, I like to kind of like apply this cream. So if you're like me, I will highly, 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 highly recommend this cream. Um, my rash on my neck was way worse than what it looked like now. Um, it was just like that eczema rash where it's just really, really, really dry and dark. Um, so what I like to do is just make sure that I'm actually looking after that. But yeah, it's gotten better. Um, I think with this cream, it's so strong, like literally within like a week, whatever rash you have or spots or whatever it is or acne, it will just go. Literally, no cat. I'm not joking. So I would suggest for you to actually um, invest in this cream. I think it retails for about £5. Get it online. Um, I'll probably put the link below where you can get it from. But again, obviously don't abuse it. Um, in terms of don't overuse this cream because it is quite strong so once your rash disappears you can just stop using it which is what I do so this is pretty much the finished look this is what you guys would need for a glowing skincare routine okay I love you guys so much thank you guys for watching bye